Adam's shirtless throughout the movie. I am shirtless a lot of this He's got a great body. And he's got some wonderful tattoo art. I'm sweating so bad right now just even thinking about people so seeing me. He's I'm American. very nervous. I'm very nervous. Where are your yeah. tattoos? I have bad tattoos all over my body. No. It's like a road map. Of, is, my body looks like um, a 14-year-old girl's bracelet. She got at Claire's. I was just really looking uh, for a project that I could have fun writing, and um, I've always loved writing music and writing song lyrics, and so that was kind of where it began. Um, and then at the same time, I was really interested in exploring um, the power dynamics in long-term relationships, and specifically uh, how couples fight. And so the intersection of those two um, interests led to a couple who, um, who chooses to fight through song. Uh, Zoe called me and said, do you, do you want to be in a movie where you play guitar and sing with me? And I was like, yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> and that was it. Were you guys friends before? No. No? No, no. We really didn't like each other. Um, <laughs> no. I, I, I had admired Adam's work for a long time, and we have a lot of mutual friends and had kind of seen each other coming up in, in the industry at parties and stuff, but we, we really hadn't spent any time together. <laughs> no. uh, I was surprised he even answered the phone when I called. Um, <laughs> I thought it was a creditor. <laughs> Which it was, kind of. Yeah, it was someone um, looking for my money. <laughs> yeah, I was looking, yeah, to not pay him. Um, but, but yeah, no, it was, I mean, every time that we did a hangout, it was uh, easy and fun, and, and I think that appealed to me when I thought about who I was going to cast, who I'd want to spend a lot of time with. I think that any character you play, you want to find something that you have in common so that you can kind of hang your hat on that and build it out from there. But I think also just the, anytime you're doing a contemporary movie like this, it, it takes place in California, I live in California. I wore all my own clothes in the movie um, just because it, it felt like that was more of the, a musician than going out and buying new clothes that felt like a lived in mm -hmm. life. Um, the mugs in the house were actually Zoe's mugs, <laughs> which was just like a small, it, th these, things, these things seem small, but then when you're like acting in the movie and you're, everything feels so real, I think it can help. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, we're both in long-term relationships. Right. Oh, there's and, that, yeah. And there's that too. Um, <laughs> but the mugs are a big, big part of it. <laughs> yeah, I really hung my um, hat on that mug. <laughs> Um, the mugs are representative of something much larger. Um, That's the point I was trying to make. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, yeah. I think as actors, you always draw on things. Obviously, because I wrote it, I was, was drawing on even more. Um, but it's also fictionalized, and, and I think that is the fun of making art, is that you get to um, draw inspiration from real life. But you also get to kind of uh, play at, at someone that is outside of yourself and at a realm of, of reality that is outside of your own. And, and I think it's those two things in combination that make it so much fun. You guys clearly here uh, on screen have so much fun together, but there's a lot of sex scenes. Were those awkward at all, or did you just have fun with them? They were not. I I didn't think they were awkward. No. Um, no. Mean, having fake sex with each other came very naturally. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I will say having an all female crew for me as a woman made sex scenes w way more comfortable because it's actually never the co-star that makes it uncomfortable. It's it's having that many male eyes on you. Whether or not those eyes are intentionally lecherous, I don't think they are, but, but as a woman, that is a really intense feeling um, to be in that intimate and vulnerable a position and to kind of feel yourself being objectified. Mm -hmm. And so to, have, to be surrounded by women mm -hmm. was um, a rare and, and wonderful experience in terms of my comfort level. Um, and Adam was, uh, of course, a gentleman. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I was also oddly comfortable to be like completely naked in front of 25 women many days It was in a, a fantasy, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> yeah, it was oddly, came naturally to me. Um, no, I, I think that that's another credit to Zoe and her directing and the way that she was able to understand that dynamic and let kind of let the environment be really low key. And that is a big deal uh, when you're doing these scenes because you just want them to feel real. And, and, and it's, you can, as a viewer, you can tell right away when, when they're not. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's a testament to her and, and how good she is. Mm -hmm.